everyone and welcome to your Tuesday carrier update presented by Power Fleet. So national volumes still right in line. We are moving neck and neck with 2019. That may or may not be good news depending on who you are, but so far the market has been right in line after this nice big December year over year increase. Uh, previous year, previous year in blue, I'm sure I should say this year in blue, previous year in green here. So we are moving right in line as we move out of this little Martin Luther King holiday trough, uh, right up neck and neck with 2019, which is fascinating to me because these are two very disparate markets. Like we did not have the same level of tender rejection this time last year versus last year. We were a little bit tighter coming out of that 2018 period of time. So this market a little bit more subdued than last year, but uh, you know, we are waiting on some changes coming in the next couple of months. So let's check out where the market is currently with our weighted rejection index map. Anything in blue showing a week over week increase in the weighted rejection index, which means that you are going to see, uh, you know, some slight tightening potentially in any of these markets versus this time last week. So that's not altogether unexpected considering that volumes fell off on Martin Luther King Day uh, last Monday. and. You know, we really do need to see a little bit of tightening coming out of that market, but overall, tender rejections in the country are down uh, week over week. Just a few spots out here with minimal increase in terms of tender rejection rate. Looking at our top, uh, you know, week over week uh, increases, we've got the Portland market right here in blue, which we'll talk about here a little bit later. The Atlanta market, again, at a 2.575. These are not robust weighted rejection index increases. That does not mean you need to go out there and charge another 15, 20% on your spot trade that comes your way. It just means that week over week, we're sitting a little bit better or a little bit tighter than we were this time last week. So these, these values are very low. Think about this, during Christmas, we were seeing uh, weighted rejection indexes above 10 to 15. So that is a significant increase in tender rejection that's where the spot market it is going to show you a, a little bit more activity uh, in terms of increasing margins. So Portland, Atlanta, Albuquerque, basically just hold your rates steady. These are going to be a little bit more stable markets moving into the uh, next couple of days. So let's look at the next. This is the Atlanta market, I should say. And this is, you know, what we're looking at in the National Tender Rejection Index versus the uh, the current uh, United States or the current Atlanta rejection index, I should say, 4.7 percent. We are down underneath the national average of 6.6 percent. So that means even though we had that increasing weighting re weighted rejection index value, it's not necessarily on par with the national average. So there are a lot more uh, unstable areas in the country right now to look at. But it is important to note that we are seeing a slight uptick, whereas the national average is coming down. So we were seeing two converging values uh, in the Atlanta market. So I just wanted to point that out real fast, just so you get a point of reference over where these rejection rates are going. Looking at the rest of the country, I wanted to pull out some lanes. Portland, Oregon, for instance, the, one of the hotter markets in the country right now, if you can call it hot, considering it's very ice cold throughout the country in terms of uh, rejection rates and capacity. But some of these lanes right here, if you're looking at uh, anything going into Portland, not normally a market a carrier wants to operate out of, 20.49 reject, outbound rejection uh, rate going into Seattle. So a lot of local freight uh, going up to Seattle right now, uh, not getting covered. Then you have Spokane, Stockton, and Los Angeles being the easiest uh, lane to get covered for any shippers out there. So carriers are obviously willing to come down south to make sure that they're getting a little bit more freight in, uh, you know, in a cooler market out of Portland. So that's breaking down Portland for you, and that'll do it for today's Carrier Update. The comprehensive logistics offerings from PowerFleet cover in-cab ELD, fleet management, trailer tracking, cargo monitoring, and tracking other assets such as chassis and intermodal containers. Power up your operations with PowerFleet.